Rub up your engines! Wouldn't it be great if you could give your vehicle a pill and it would run better and have more horsepower and get better gas mileage? Well, there's a company called Extreme Dream Team and they have a pill you throw in your gas tank to get better gas mileage and more horsepower. They call them MPGX caps. And there's only one problem with these little pills. They don't really work. Over the years, I've had people send me scores of pills, bottles, sometimes magnets you put on the fuel line. Or in the case of the tornado, a device that goes in place of your air filter that spins the air to make a tornado vortex to get more power and better gas mileage. And they all have two things in common. They all seem to come out of the woodwork when the price of gas gets high. And two, none of them work. <laughs> Now take something like the tornado. They say, oh, you put it in your air intake, it spins the air. They start with an idea that sounds plausible because look, here's a turbocharger and it spins. But you have to realize it is taking exhaust gas, which spins this turbine, which then compresses the air that goes into your engine. Therefore, ramming in more air and giving it more power. That works. But just a device that has a fan in it on the air intake, the air will come and spin it around a little, but if you're just getting powered by air going in the intake, this thing might spin a little bit, but it's going to have absolutely no effect on increasing horsepower or gas mileage by ramming in more air because it's spinning so slow it's hardly going to do anything at all. And if you think putting this little pill in your gas tank, even though it has a very cute little X design on it, designer pills, right? <laughs> It's not going to do anything to make your car get better gas mileage or more horsepower. Now, of course, the stuff like these pills, they're generally a pyramid scheme type thing where people make money selling the stuff and then they get other people to join in and sell it. You can get testimonials from all kinds of people that say it works, but if you're logical like me, you're not going to believe them. You're going to believe these other reviews. The people who sell this crap have no conscience. The video says we can't provide a clear explanation on how it works because there isn't one. And another guy, Canadian skinny guy says, I will stay away from this. My engine already has about 40% thermal efficiency. So understand this about modern cars for their design. They are getting about as efficient as they possibly can. Now you can make a modern car have more power by changing how it's designed and generally they'll get worse gas mileage. Or you can make them get better gas mileage, but then they don't have power and people want power. So it's always a combination of power versus gas mileage and they look for a happy medium. You can get more power and more gas mileage if you want to go for that by redesigning how the engine works, changing the fuel injection system, ignition system, going for that variable compression design like Nissan has. But of course that costs a whole bunch of money and you only get a small amount of better gas mileage. But if you think put one of these pills in your gas tank is going to make your car run better, get better gas mileage, have more power, you probably took some other kind of pill yourself and are imagining things. Now I once had a guy in Houston give me some of those and this is when I was on CBS TV and he says, oh Scotty, you're the greatest mechanic I've ever seen Olga blah blah and he's kissing my hiney, right? So he gives me the pills and I try them up. And then I proved on a dyno, on driving tests, that it didn't do anything to the vehicle. So I made the video and the guy got mad at me. He said, oh, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about, right? This is after he had called me the greatest mechanic he ever met and I knew everything, right? <laughs> because I didn't agree. And he said, I don't care what you say. I got better gas mileage when I put it in my car. And he may very well have gotten better gas mileage in his car. Because if you want to get better gas mileage in your car and you're consciously trying, you will drive slower. You won't accelerate as fast. You won't be slamming on the gas and slamming on the brakes, right? You're going to drive more conservatively. You're going to get better gas mileage doing that in any car. Heck, I had a Mustang for a week. If I drove it on the highway conservatively, I got 16 miles a gallon. Well, when I drove like a madman, I got three miles a gallon. That's a whopping difference. Nothing was done to the car. I just drove it really conservative. A lot of that is in your mind. Don't think these pills are going to help help you or your car out. And to add insult to injury, they're not that cheap. These ones are like five bucks a piece. You're better off buying gasoline with the five bucks a piece than buying these stupid little pills. Now the next product I find both interesting and kind of entertaining. Guess what it is? Well, if you guessed eating tray, you're right. Check it out. It fits all over the steering wheel. Instead of eating and making a mess all over the place, you can eat 
handily at the steering wheel you're not going to spill your drink and if you do like i did here well it just ends up on the tray anyways and you can easily eat your food now perhaps my choice of vanilla cupcakes and hazelnut chocolates wasn't the healthiest thing on earth there's nothing more annoying than eating in your car and you're trying to balance a cup somewhere and food crumbs are going everywhere and then you drop your food on the ground and can't eat it anymore i gotta say these enrich up guys came up with a pretty good idea now granted it's a rather selfish idea because as you can see if you got a passenger they don't have any place to put it so the heck with the passenger this is a solo device but let's face it most americans are driving around in the car all by themselves so this is their handy little eating tray that they can put out and not make a mess and the cool thing is it fits about any car it comes with various different adapters it'll fit different side steering wheels so for our fast food on the go society yeah, it's a pretty good little idea just one warning yes americans are in a big hurry but please don't use this thing while you're driving down the road you'll have very little steering ability <laughs> now when i saw this tool i thought what could it be it looks like something out of a science fiction movie right it's a self-powered smoke machine for finding leaks in your car it looks tiny but it works quite well it's called auto line pro ventus I guess as in venting air, you got a vacuum leak, it's venting, right? <laughs> I don't know, but that's what it's called. It's self-contained, it's got its own lithium ion battery. You just pour the fluid in the add part, little level gauge so you can tell easily. Then you just plug the smoke hose on it and turn it on. Gee, it's just like a rocket ship. You can hear it's working now. Now you can see it's bubbling there. You can put it wherever you want. You don't have to hook it up to a battery. Doesn't have to be plugged into 120 volts. You can use it anywhere. And it comes with this cool AutoLine Pro light because a lot of times the smoke can be hard to see, but watch this. The fluid that it comes with is somewhat luminescent. So as you can tell, look, you don't see it now, but when we put the little light, you can easily see the fluid. So you see the smoke coming out when you're looking for a leak you just get the flashlight look closely and when you get to where the leak's coming out you'll see it with the flashlight it's a good fluid you got to use this luminescent fluid it makes leak finding much easier and i do have to say one of the best things about the smoke is it doesn't really have any odor some of them really stink if you use the ones that have mineral oil base they really stink this I didn't smell anything. I used the mineral base one when I was back in Rhode Island. Stunk up my garage, my wife came in. Well, the garage really stinks. What the heck are you doing in here? You don't even smell this. Better idea to have a fluid that's made for it that doesn't stink. And the kit that it comes with has a whole bunch of adapters for fitting them in, different orifices like the intake, hose, anything like that. And the adapters have a double use. You can plug up a whole that you want to plug up so the smoke doesn't come out like let's say you take the air intake off well then there's a big hole there you plug it with that they come with these cool little plugs that you just stick in and then the air won't come out of here and it'll go on the rest of the system so they basically have adapters that work two ways pretty smart invention there and being a quality unit this isn't just some cheapo smoke thing check it out it's got a leak meter so when you hook it up, it shows you how big the leak. I got it pushed down. There's no leak. It will show you how big the leak is. Now, the first time I used this thing, I said, oh, gee, it's broke. The meter doesn't work. But that's because of me. I don't read direction much. You turn it on, the meter doesn't work. When you want the meter to work, you have to push it a second time. One, two. See? Then the meter works. So don't be like me. Read the direction when it comes. You got to turn it on. And once you turn it on, you got to push the button again. Then the meter works. You can see if you don't want the meter you can just turn the meter off so i do have to say this venice smoke machine it's now my go-to machine because it's self-powered you just got to charge it up every so many days it lasts over an hour and that's a long time for looking for a leak right and then you can put it anywhere if you're looking at the back of the car any place you're looking for leaks you don't have to have a cord you don't have to have a big extension that goes to your car battery it's self-powered sometimes smaller is better so there you have it three products that are completely different two of them that are pretty cool and one that you should never think about buying there is no magic pill that's going to make your car run better so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos remember to ring that bell